Yeah, no, you ain't no psycho You're not like the others, no No changing behaviors Not sure how to act around you So colorful and bright Lambruski, Lambruska Fire bonded Every time and every day Anyway guys, hello, hello and welcome back to the Black Beauty TV Daughter of the soil <laughs> And the lazy, 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 lazy people, <laughs> CEO. So, guys, it is what it is, huh? I am out again today. Um, I just dropped my car for the for the winter uh, tires. Yeah. So I said, let me walk around to make this video because. I miss you guys so much. Yesterday I didn't make video, but I'm here today. Welcome back to another hotel, 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 hotel. You guys should pardon me. Oh. <laughs> I'm just trying to do my job as a reactor. So guys, as we always say today, we are going to say it. <laughs> Who made it today? Come on. <laughs> anyway, guys, I don't want wasting time moving around feeling myself and all that anyway let's go straight into the videos you know guys uh -huh, there's this video i think i'm going to be talking about two people for now and then later in our video <laughs> when it arrives for us to enter eh? i have even a lot of videos from yabohanze but i don't know i'm going to make maybe two videos today one for today and one for tomorrow but let's see it is what it is guys so Anyway, what am I even going to start saying? There's this uh, video, viral video of this Kenyan girl <laughs> that they are calling uh, Rosie or the Rose or the whosoever that left Arab country. Mm -hmm. She left the Middle East uh, to go back to Kenya and the kids were crying. The kids were crying. Rosie, oh, Rosie, oh don't go don't go stay with us rosie rosie <laughs> very 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 viral the video went viral people were happy people are happy people are seeing oh rosio rosio is a good nanny rosio did that you know me the black beauty tv <laughs> i always come i say that's why i say you guys should pardon me i'm just a reactor you know as a reactor we don't mean that when we say something we ask you people that you must buy that thing. We are saying, no, don't buy what we are saying. But um, we are just saying those things. It's just our own point of views. That's how me, I see it. And I must not see things the way another person sees. Your views might be different from my own point of views. What I go? So, and then that woman, there's a video I made about this Kenyan girl. <laughs> You people will be thinking, where am I on Kenyans? The reality is that I know Kenya more than half of Nigeria. I know East Africa. And I told you guys I belong to everywhere in Africa. So I can take anywhere to be my niche. One bus is going to pass. So uh, this girl posted a video about the boyfriend bringing her to, to the UK. And she left that guy after four months. Guys, she deleted the videos from her channel. She deleted those videos of that guy from her channel. But we're going to look into it. We're going to talk about it. But for now, guys, let's talk about this uh, this Kenyan woman who, yeah, is a nanny for these people. I know that a lot of people don't see things like me, but... It is what it is. It is good. Let's say it's a good thing she went to look. According to what I'm seeing online or hearing online that she's a mom. She got three kids. And uh, she's doing this nanny job. It's good. Like she doesn't have the opportunity in Africa. She didn't have a job. So she went to look for a greener pasture for her children. And I cannot condemn her for doing that because sometimes we don't just leave our kids just for fun or we want to leave them just because we want to leave them. No, she wanted something good for her children and that is why she 
she left her kids to go take care of another person. <laughs> but guys, my own, this is my, where my reaction comes in. A lot of people are talking about how this kid are crying for this girl, how they love this girl. Of course, they have to love her. Have you guys asked yourself, why is it that this rose? Have you put yourselves in the shoes of this rose? Have you asked yourself, why on earth is it that this kid, they don't want to go to their parents? Small, small kids, four small kids, they don't want to go to their own mother that gave birth to them. They only go to the nanny. My point is that <clears throat> you all don't know what this girl, this rosy of a girl, must have passed through these people. I just feel her, you know, it might look like, oh, because the kids are crying, the kids are happy with her. Yes, the kids are happy with her, but the reality is that the way me, I see, that's why I say, I always see my teeth sometimes. <laughs> I say, no, negativity don't go leave me alone, but it's the reality. It shows me that this girl has been the only one taking care of these four kids. How is she living? How are things? How do you guys think about how she feels? I feel like this girl don't even sleep because to take care of small, small four kids is not a joke. So yes, guys, this is the way me, the Black Beauty TV, I see it, and I don't want you to buy my own idea, but I'm just reacting on this uh, video of this rose. When I saw these children, these kids crying like they, they just want to go to this girl. What came to my head? I'm ah, not a girl or woman because according to what I'm hearing here, yeah, she has three kids. So what came to my head is that these parents, they were, they are never there. I will not say like they abandoned their kids or what, but they, they, they're taking care of those kids. Anything that those kids want, it all goes to the nanny. That girl that people are pressing now, guys, you don't know what she has been passing through. It's not easy to take care of. You see the children, you will see them like they are triplets. Very, very small children like that. And if you have never been to Arab country, you will not understand the reality. The reality on how these Arab women are so lazy. I'm sorry to say this, you know, if you are an Arab, you are watching me. The reality, I'm not saying all Arab country, but these Middle East women, they can be so lazy, you will see a woman having two kids. She might be having three, four nannies. You will see this woman walking in a mall. She will have somebody that is even, they do it like they are doing like it's competition. You even see somebody that is the one carrying her handbag. She's doing nothing. Her own is to work with her husband, give birth to children, and other people are taking care of the children. With her. It's the reality. I know that a lot of people are going to, you know, disagree with me. As I have said, it is good that she went there to look for greener pasture for herself and her kid. But the reality remains. At the end of the day, how much do they pay these people? A lot of these Arab people come, take these girls and use them, pay them maybe uh, 1,000 riyals, 1, 500, 700 riyals, 800 riyals. Some of them, they don't even pay them the salary. It has to end at the end of the day. Some of them, they pay them. But that's not what we come to talk today. What I just want to talk about this video, because a lot of people are just, oh, the, the Rose, Rose is a good woman, Rosie or what? She's so good. If not, she will not win the heart of this student. But my reaction is that the girl, that woman, that Rosie have suffered. She has really suffered. You will see that that girl at the end of the day, she's not sleeping well. You will see that she's not resting well because she have to wake up very early in the morning to take care of those children before she will go to bed those children will have to all of them go to bed before she will go to bed if any forget about what you are seeing on camera if any of those kids are crying that woman is going to balance and send the children to go to the nanny that is why you see why the children are crying for the nanny I even calling the nanny the mother the mother they are social they are in fact they are celebrities on social media their work is to make videos if you watch their tiktok you are going to see their tiktok almost every video with this kenyan woman have you asked yourself that they are not using this woman for content the reality is that they use this nanny 
Do they know whether the nanny, I know it's a woman, no, but sometimes in these countries, you don't have your yes, you don't have your no. This is a woman that has three children. After blowing on social media or before blowing on social media, if they really know that their nanny is a good person, have they think of like open a social media for this nanny to go uh, vital, to go, you know, more in her life? Now I heard a lot of people saying that, oh, the girl will go back like these people have given her uh, the opportunity to come with her children. You are asking this woman to come with her little children from Kenya and then she come with these children to stay with them in this house. Now she will not be the mother and father of, forget the fact that yes, they will have food to eat and where to sleep. But to take, she will not be mother and father of seven children at the same time. Because these Arab people, the reality is that they, they are back, they, in fact, their children is the nanny that's taking care of them. The women, their own is to give birth. Their own is to do it with their men and give birth to their children. Their children are taken care, they care by their nanny. And when I saw this girl, I think she's the only nanny in that house with four small kids. And people find it funny to say that, oh, they really took care of her. For me, the way I see it as a black beauty TV, that girl was really suffering. It's the reality. She was suffering, she would do the house choice, she would take care of the kids, she would do everything. And this woman and her husband, they are balancing. That is why their children could not even go to them. If you watch a lot of their videos on, the, on TikTok, their children only go to the nanny. Because that is the only person they know as the person that gives them attention, that shows them love. I'm not here to condemn these guys. No, I'm just here to do my reaction and say it the way it is. Because, you know, people camouflage people online. They camouflage people. We know how nannies pass through in the Middle East. It's not a, a small job. They work from morning till night. That girl needs for now, if I'm the one, that Rosie, if I am the one, or if she watches people and look for advice, now I will say she has made it in life. She just need to seize this opportunity. Stand on herself like, yes, I, I blow online because of these people and you use it well and make yourself, make your life a better life but not thinking of you want to go back to Arab country to be a nanny. Do you want to be nanny forever? Do you want your life to continue to be nanny? You have your children, your children also need your attention. Don't allow people to deceive you online. Oh, these people love you. You know what you pass through. Forget about the fact that they put you in their video. They are using you for content. It's the reality. Me, the Black Beauty TV, I like seeing things in another way. I'm not saying that they treat her bad because at the end of the day, no matter how people treat people in the Middle East, you still see people that are good. But the reality remains. I have gone to Middle East several times for holiday and I see these women. I'm sorry to say it. They are the most laziest, laziest women I have ever come in contact with. They are so lazy that they just want to sleep with their men, have the kids, but they will never, in fact, they will never pick a pin down from their houses like this. Everything is the house help. Even if you don't have a house help in the middle, is a, they begin to think like, it's a competition. And they bring, I have repeated, but I will repeat it again. They bring all these girls, Filipinos, Afri all these third world girls, they bring them from their countries for cheap, cheap labor. Rosie, don't go back there again. It's the reality. As I have said, guys, I don't want to blame her for going to the Middle East to take care of these kids and leaving her kids back in, um, in Kenya because the reality is that she's looking for something good for her own children. But at the same time, at the same time, oh, now that she has made it, she should better relax and take care of her children instead of her to run and go and take care of another woman's children and be following this woman in the ass and the woman is sitting down with her ass busy doing her content cannot take care of her kids is leaving the kids to nanny you born your children you don't bond them with nanny i know even we here even me that i'm talking to you guys i we have nanny but our nanny here get level and the way itself you, you can a lot of people cannot even afford nanny is the reality because it's not like you just carry people and bring them to your country for cheap labor because just because they are from a third world world imagine guys i just came to our train station a lot of construction is going on let me
lot of construction is is going on on our our train station here it is what it is guys so i saw that video online i saw the video i saw the video online and everybody's uh, happy even me i'm happy that this is how the viral video is all about but we also have to think of the negative side in anything we are doing because the reality is that that girl so far she saw i can't imagine in fact i'm imagining taking care of this small children like this alone this one is crying they want to come to you the other one is crying at the same time she's cleaning how many pampas she sh because those children look like twists or triplets i don't know how many pampas she's changing in a day for these children that woman will not do it guys believe you me she will not do those things because that is how arab women they are all that concern their children changing pampas showering taking care of the children it's all the nanny job. That's what they believe. That is their culture. That I don't want to say it's religion, but it's their culture. It is the competition in their countries that they don't believe that. If, if you don't do those things, they feel like you are not rich, like you don't have the money. You cannot afford those things to, like, to bring cheap nannies from the third world countries. That is how they are. And a lot of people will not tell you this truth. A lot of people will cover this truth just because the video, okay, it went viral. Very good. I'm happy for the girl. I hope like this video takes her far in life. Let her really have something. Anyway, guys, we are not going to dwell in this girl. Me, I have said my own part. Don't take it personal. It's just a reaction. It's just my own point of view. It's just the way I see it is the reality. Anyway, guys, now we're going to this um, video. There's this girl I told you guys that uh, the girl that we all know that uh, she left her husband after four months married in the uk <laughs> hey guys so she deleted the videos after deleting the videos she said she's just trying to you know she's just trying to be a little bit she's trying to be careful so i asked myself i said when you wake up and start talking about somebody when you wake up from your slumber and start condemning a man a video that went viral to the whole world a lot of people watch that video even if you deleted it people like us the reactors we still have those videos that's the truth she insulted this man you know she didn't show any sign of respect the fact that the man paid her bill brought her to the uk she could not you know i tell, i always say in my reaction videos don't take anybody in this world for granted even if somebody gives you one cent, I know I'm not saying that because somebody brought you to the UK because a man marries you, the man should bully you, the man should uh, abuse you in one way or the other. No, but the reality is that in the other hand, when you watch that girl very carefully, I know that her main reason, she just wanted to come to Europe. You know, I did the first video. I never wanted to condemn her in the first video because I said, okay, it happens. This is how some Muzungus are. This is how some fake Muzungus. But the reality is that I would not want anybody. Like, you just, somebody wake up from Africa, go and get man, uh, woman, man in Africa, and then you bring this person, and just after uh, some few months, the person is already telling the whole world how dirty you are, how your nose keep running, how the person cannot even eat your food how your mouth is smelling and all that and all that she made the biggest mistake of her life the reality is that if she never wanted this man the man went to kenya to marry her this man stayed with her in nairo in mombasa they got married in mombasa she didn't get married to this man in the, in the uk so she saw all these things in africa but she did not react she waited because she wanted that visa she wanted that western world life she wanted to like come to western world and live in the western world instead of her, okay you finish with this man uh and the state the government allow you to stay in the uk what are you supposed to do just maintain your space and maintain your peace but this girl went ahead to make videos you know disgrace this man insult the man telling the man all kinds of name and then you come back she just for me the black beauty tv she just wanted to build that youtube channel she wanted 
the subscriber she wanted the monetization because she was having that youtube but it wasn't doing well and immediately she posted this story a train is passing immediately she posted that story the story went viral she monetized the video in just because of that video she used that video to monetize that channel after she monetized that channel she deleted the videos from her channel to say that it was a mistake she did not think very well she just posted the video saying that she didn't know that the video would go viral posting anything you are posting on social media you are posting that thing on social media with the hope and the goal of like okay i'm posting this video on social media today and i hope this video goes viral you don't post video on social media because you don't want people to watch it you post this video and put and put it public because you want people to to watch it so why do you turn around to say oh you didn't know that the video will go viral and you remove it because you just want to be careful guys do you see this story like a story of somebody that is sincere like a story of somebody that really a man brought to europe and if she never wanted to use this man let her go back to kenya is the reality so guys let's let's read this thing she posted she said hey peps you will notice that i have removed the videos about my story not for any bad reason how will you remove it for bad reason which bad reason i am just trying to be more careful until the time is right <laughs> hey lambruski lambroska fire burn them every time she's trying to be very very careful before the time is right you didn't think that you did bad and then if i am being honest the two videos were recorded on a whim i did not think everything true let me wait I am being honest the two videos were recorded on a whim i did not think everything true <laughs> she was confused she could not think she just posted those things mm -hmm. and i also did not expect them to be rich as far as they did now i know better and i intend to do better i will still upload stories of my journey so stay tuned thanks you for understanding one thing i don't really understand is that she said she never knew that these videos will go viral this is somebody that have a channel <laughs> this is someone with a channel that has almost two hundred thousand views why i said that this girl i'm going to put the channel for you guys here to see why i said that this girl just seized the opportunity to use this uh, story use this man to oblive herself because she has this channel guys the reality is she have the channel almost 200,000 subscribers but she's not getting views in those channels the views were very very low so she's now started this her channel now she put those her stories and she blew like this as a youtuber that is having almost 200,000 subscribers you won't tell me that you just put videos you didn't know that the video might go viral your intention was that this video you posted is to reach a lot of people one thing i know that this girl is not sincere a lot of girls are like that let me tell you not only girls even men when you go pick them like this marry them i wouldn't want anybody to do that to my friend to my family member to anybody that my family my brother took you or my sister girl got married to you bring you at the end of the day you use that person and you dumb the person and you do not just dumb the person you insulted the person in the in the presence of the whole world why i know that this girl was not a sincere girl was that 
when you watch the last video she posted she said when she come she wanted to be uh, contributing to be paying things and the man don't want her to be paying the things and uh, there's another place she said that she wanted the man to put her name in his house that he just bought so that she will be joining the man to pay how do you come to a country marry a man guys i am a woman and i will feel for that man that you just bring a woman that woman you just got married to the woman you brought her to the to europe and the woman just saw okay you bought a house and immediately the woman wanted to include her name in that property this is a woman you have not even spent three months with or two months with immediately she came she wanted this man to include her name in the mortgage or how do you call it so that they will be paying together what is what what was her goal her goal was to use this man get this property imagine guys if this man have put her name now now she will start fighting this man claiming this same property that this man has suffered for years for her she said the man even walk only in the night can you imagine the suffering then you go to africa bring a woman i'm sorry as i told you guys the first video I don't want to bash her because I never knew what she was going through. But now seeing her in other videos, seeing the way she, she's taking steps, I realized that her motive was to come to Europe because at the end of the day, she saw the guy in Mombasa. They got married in Kenya. So all those negative things, all those running nose, all that dirty teeth and all that, she must have seen all those things. Because a dirty person cannot just be, the, be today very clean and the next day is dirty no it takes a lot of time to clean a dirty person up is the reality even if you see the person goes travel to you will still feel that you know you still feel that dirtiness you still see that dirtiness around that person in one way or the other so this girl just took this opportunity used this man she came to europe and now she is on her own she's living her life the way she want to live now she's using abuse to bring this man down how do you come to day to day and you want a man to use you and put your name that shows that you are only for the property and she said she opened her mouth and said there's something that she said in that video that a lot of people that are living in europe i don't want to say germany or only england the whole of diaspora if you are living in europe she got this man she said that anything she want to buy the man don't want her to pay for those things like even if she want to pay the man who said no take i pay guys how many men are going to do this thing to a woman how many women will do that to a man how many partner how many people are you going to get as your partner that they will be this ready that they don't even know you very well they just brought you and anything you want to do in your life these people are ready to pay for you and she was complaining i said if it was in a negative way, like the man don't want to pay anything for her, the man don't want to buy anything for her, she will complain like the man is wicked, the man brought her. Because I have also seen women that have come to this Europe with their men and they never had this opportunity, like they want to buy uh, expensive things and the men just pay for them. So the girl is so ungrateful. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to do this reaction like this, but guys, is the reality she was so ungrateful and unfair to this man she really really insulted that man in her videos now she is regretting it because maybe the man the man have a right to take her to the court the man have a right to take her anywhere because you don't just make videos and insult a man that brought you even if why is it that women on earth cannot just separate with the men and just go your way the man go you left he did not follow you he allow you to live. At the same time, you are the one who brought these stories. A lot of people say they learn from your stories. Yes, they learn. But at the same time, in this story that people learn from it, it destroyed another person.
guys let's go and see whether they finish my car or what then i think i go home <laughs> Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. So, guys, that's the story. Mm? Let's stop using people. That is my own. <laughs> Let us stop using people. If you don't want a person, if you don't want a man, don't collect the man's money. If you don't want a woman, <laughs> don't collect her money and don't collect her congee. You know, stop using people for your own gain. Stop using people because you want to collect something. It's the reality. That's how we see it. Some people will say, oh, she will never leave Europe. But how do you live with such conscience if you know that that was your goal? Huh? If you know that that was your goal to get something out of somebody. Guys, there's a video a lot of people were saying, they have been telling me, oh, Black Beauty, please say something about um, this video. Our weather is very, very somehow, but it's not cold. I'm so happy that the winter is this year is not that uh, cold like that. So, somebody said, please, I should say something about this uh, congrats mom video. Me, I'm not going to put Gigolo here because the reality is that, guys, Gigolo, Gigolo always make me angry. I don't do reaction personally, I'm telling you guys. But there are some lies that Gigolo used to lie if I see them like that. I saw just see this Gigolo man like he's not a normal human being. So, somebody was saying that uh, Congrats Mom was crying on Gigolo's video about, you know, Dim Wango and all that. <laughs> and Congrats Mom in this particular video of this Mr. Gigolo, Congrats Mom was like, oh, uh, Dim Wango, David Jr. and Marwa, her children, they are working very, very hard. I just laughed. You know where I laugh, guys? <laughs> this is a woman that have a daughter. Her big daughter with children. I say, Congress mom, is it that she's, she, is it money that is controlling Congress mom? Or how will a mother, guys, I am a mother. You know, if I'm not a mother, a lot of people will say, oh, you don't have children. That is why you are talking this way. No, I have children. I begin to ask myself after I watch that gigolo video, where Congress mom was saying, oh, her children, David Jr., D. Mwango, and uh, Marwa, they are working hard. I asked myself, I say, why is it that Congress mom is always removing this, her big daughter? Why is it that she's crying every day, D. Mwango, Marwa, David Jr., they should have uh, um, grandchildren for her. They are doing good. Why is she not mentioning? This is also, she's feeling that she has only three children or what? She will never mention this, her daughter, the only people she mentioned, you see Congress mom mentioned, Marwa Dimango. So I was asking myself, what about her first daughter? What about her first child? Has Congress mom abandoned this child? Or what did this child do to Congress mom that? This child is very, very, in fact, is far away from Congress mom. Even when you see her, she's mentioning, you'll be thinking Congress mom have three, uh, only three children. But the reality is that this woman, have four kids even that her daughter have children you will never see her talking about her grandchildren you are crying for grandchildren for somebody to give for marwa and other people to give you grandchildren the grandchildren you have at hand you never mention them is is this one i don't know is it a cause if it is a cause somebody should tell me if i'm dreaming somebody should wake me from the dream because for me the black beauty tv i don't see it as normal I know that I always think negatively, but guys, that is the way I'm thinking my thinking. How do you have uh, four children, but you keep mentioning only three children every day? What about the other children? What happened? What about the other daughter? The same thing I begin to think deep within me in my heart. I say, uh -uh. Marwa went to school. Let's say, okay, secondary school. Let's just forget about the fact of the university. Marwa, Dimwango, and Jigoloma. All of them, they went to secondary school, but this, their sister, is an illiterate. This girl never goes to secondary school. I say, ah, uh ah. -uh. Why is it that everything is this girl that is out of the way? Why? What did she do to congrats mom or what did she really do to her parents? Is it that she refused to go to school and 
just got married or is the mother really angry with her because she could not settle and go to school and or is it not is it because she's not making money on youtube like the other kids why is congrats mom away from this kids from this her daughter wow our fuel is cheap today very very cheap today guys if you want to buy fuel you can come to this our city and buy fuel see how cheap it is today 174 and 184 it is what it is hey they have not finished that car i'm going to enter uh that uh, bow house is a bow market i'm going to enter there how do you see very very beautiful oh my gosh let's see this place wow beautiful christmas tree My eyes are clearing now, guys. Eh, hey, what I go, let's see. Let's just walk. Walk around and look here, and then I go. We'll continue with our water, water. Or we call it a day, I don't know. But I think we're going to continue with the water, water. Wow. Everywhere is Christmas, guys. Eh? Hey? I feel the spirit of Christmas everywhere. <laughs> See how beautiful it is, guys. Oh my God. I don't want to go home again. I want to start celebrating my own Christmas today. See how everywhere is. Look at it, guys. Oh my goodness. Imagine. After all these things. Me, I'm only thinking about <laughs> after the Christmas to remove all these things. No, be my my. It's not a my my. It's a very big job. Eh? Let's go there. See how beautiful it is. Let me see if I will find a water water here. <laughs> Let me see another video. Stay tuned to this video. Please remember to subscribe, like, share. I'm so excited guys i'm so happy and i thank chris for the opportunity that he has given me to to travel together i thank god for him because uh it's a dream come true for me being with uh walking around with chris and mo it's a blessing i thank god for it so guys i stay tuned till the end of this video and back on this journey with us Ex let's explore this together guys Stay tuned, guys. Mm. Oh, thank you. See, Chris has bought me this. Wow. That's Chris. <laughs> that, that's Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and that's more. I'm coming going into Mombasa. <laughs> guys, we are ready. We are almost ready. Meet Akomo. <laughs> I'm much excited because all of us here, nobody knows Mombasa, all of us you are the black duck, but you are referring to Mapu. <laughs> Very excited. We are heading to Mombasa. Also, you can just see Chris on the other side. Yes, there. This is right yeah. there. <laughs> I cannot shout, guys. I would have said Lambruski, Lambruska. Fire burn them every time and every day. I thought I have seen it all. Guys, have you seen? let me walk out here. I just don't want people to see me too much. I'm shouting. <laughs> for the first time, Chris is buying something for a woman. <laughs> Guys, pardon me. Hey, German people, pardon me for laughing like this. I thought Chris said that he don't buy drinks for women. <laughs> man is man. A man remain men forever. He said he can never buy that he doesn't buy drinks for women. <laughs> what is the difference of, in fact, it's better to even buy the drink 
and the woman goes to her house. This one, you are buying drink. Eh? You are buying drink and the woman is even following you up and down. Which one is which one, people? <laughs> I say I like hypocrites. I know some people will still come and attack me. Is it not the man that told us that he don't buy drinks for women? But you, you don't buy drinks for women, but you will carry a woman from Nairobi <laughs> and travel all the way to Mombasa. He posted this thing that he was looking for a YouTuber <laughs> to travel with. So when he said he don't buy drinks for women because of his wife. So I asked myself after I saw this video of this girl, he went and chose the very beautiful girl. Oh. He chose now he's traveling with the girl all over. <laughs> what is the difference of this one and buying drink? Is your wife not going to suspect you on this one? Is your wife not going to suspect you? You know, sometimes the truth, the reality is that when people don't want to do something for people, they start complaining, they start bringing stories. It shocked her life, me to see that at the end of the day, <laughs> Chris is buying and traveling with an African girl all the way from Nairobi to Mombasa. I said, you see, you see my hypocrites everywhere. If I talk now, they say, hey, the Black Beauty TV is wicked. I'm not wicked. He was pretending that he don't buy drinks for women. I know that some people say, yeah, they agree with what Chris says. It's good. Even me, I agree. But the reality is that if you say something, you stand on that thing you say. Don't do today like this, and then tomorrow, you are doing another thing. If you say you are not buying drinks for a woman because of your wife, don't travel with any woman. Don't carry any woman and travel. Your wife will be angry. Let me see how your wife is going to divorce you now that you, you are traveling with this girl and you are going to be staying in different places with her. The same thing you did with Dimwango in Jamaica. You were all over with Dimwango. Is she not a woman? Or maybe she was a man that time she was working with her with her cut hair. All these passport brothers, they can pretend more than anything. They can pretend. I saw even Ivan, all of a sudden, from the biggest passport brother, Marwa. Now he's a marriage uh, counselor. <laughs> you should know, please, don't allow me to laugh because when you laugh uh, inside these people, it's somehow, All of a sudden, our, our passport brothers are becoming marriage counselors. Chris, Chris, Chris. <laughs> hey, I say, man, man, man. Chris, no, they buy. Chris, don't buy beer for women. Chris, don't buy beer for women because he's afraid of his wife. But Chris is buying beer for, for, but Chris, but Chris is carrying women <laughs> and travel with women to Mombasa. When it comes, he even buys, so I know, yeah, he, he bought drink. He said generally, he didn't even say only beer, he just said he don't buy drinks for women. But today you bought drink for this one. You didn't even just buy drink for her. <laughs> You travel with her. You took this one and you travel with all the way to Mombasa from Nairobi. Guys, if you want a build house, just come to this bow house. Oh my God. So, you got a lot of things here. I'm just walking and checking, walking and looking, walking and looking all over. Okay. I'm so happy this place don't have music today. Normally, if you enter here, everywhere is music, music. Today, they don't have music. At least I have used my opportunity. <laughs> Even though I could not shout. <laughs> I could not call my Lambruski. I could not call my Fireborn them. You know, on this liar, Chris. Eh? I told you guys, these guys are so hypocrites. They will tell you another thing today. Tomorrow, the story is going to change. 
Finally, the story has changed of Chris. We are always here to remind them, you don't buy beer for women. Now, and all of a sudden, you carry these uh, tomatoes just. They get look like a tomatoes. <laughs> you carry the tomatoes. You go and carry the biggest tomatoes in uh, Nairobi to travel with. Hmm? I'm stopping because all these Babylonians are looking for me. The people of Babylon, Babylonians, looking at the Black Beauty TV, I've come and done round, checking my, my, let me see whether there are animals here, because they used to have some animals here. I don't know if the animals are still there. I just want to check if the animals are around this place. Then uh, I see them, or I go and collect my car. You see how I'm cruising my life? Guys, you don't know how I'm enjoying the way I'm doing my reaction now. Who want to be sitting down? They will be calling us lazy just because we sat down to do our reaction. I don't think that the animals are here. Maybe they are in another, another part because another part is down there. I cannot find. I don't want to even go outside to the garden. Let me just go and collect my car and find my way to my house. So it is what it is. Uh, please, I have cruised my life small today. I don't walk out, walk out small. I don't walk out, walk out. Let me see if one can walk around. One can walk here and come out. Let me come out also here and go to my own house. I just saw one African woman. She's looking at me also like the Babylonians. <laughs> hey, she will be saying, why my sister shouting? Hello. How are my sister shouting like this? Don't you know that the Babylonians are looking at you? Chew? I'm a, I am an African. <laughs> I want to take shortcut. <laughs> People don't like taking shortcut here, yeah, but let me see. Let me check on the shortcut. If uh, if there's a space in the shortcut, I just take the shortcut. I walk out my walk out. Before I used to shame to vlog, but now people be looking at you like, hey, why is she holding her phone like this? What is she talking? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? You said this mad woman. <laughs> I'm mad. Oh. Hey guys, this looking for. <laughs> Let me just keep quiet. Let me do my madness and go. Yeah, there is shortcut. I'm gonna take the shortcut. You want me to go and go and turn up and down? Let me go and find shortcuts. Do it as an African. We do it the way we are used to it in our in our continent. You remember last week I did my video here. The weather today is very good. Look at our hills there. Ooh, it's me, daughter of the soil. So that's Toyota there. I want to go to Toyota there. I'm going to look for for shortcut here to follow. Me, I can never go far away. I need to follow shortcut here. Yeah. I need to look for shortcut. Let me look for shortcut and follow, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it in African way. If these people have not finished this car, I'm going to sack them. I'm going to sack them and not bring my car here again. So, I hope they have done it all. Because I cannot come and kill myself. I've seen one shortcut, wait. <laughs> hey, you have a hand, You think we don't have bush? Let me show you our bush. Uh, let me take shortcut. The Africa own. There's even shortcut here. Hey, 
Oh, you poor people. Muzungu even make the shortcut to be good or she. <laughs> you see Muzungu? Muzungu shortcut. Hey, I hope they have finished my cow. As I can see, the car is not there. Maybe they have taken it. They are on it. They are on it. Let me go and show you people. Very beautiful cars. Hey, if you see the cars, hey, let me show you. Let me show you cars. Let's enter inside. You see this Obenge? This is Obenge on top of Obenge. Let me enter and show you guys more. Look at that. Imagine, guys, these tires are costing 2,500 euros for the tires alone. 2005. This ones are 29. Omo. Hello. Look at the cars. What a beautiful. Can you see? I need. Wow. So beautiful. Look at this sport car. Very, very beautiful. Hello, ich bin wieder da. Äh, ich glaube, das Auto ist noch nicht fertig. Dauert noch lange. Ich muss mal fragen. Okay. Okay. <lacht> Who want to buy this one for me? No more. This is exactly like my car, but in my own is in white, and my tires are not this one. This is also a Benge, a Benge car. All these cars are automatic. One worst thing is that I don't know why I don't like automatic. Maybe because I I like driving too much. That's why I don't like buying automatic cars. inside this car wow. so that's Toyota there I want to go to Toyota there I'm going to look for for shortcut here to follow me, I can never go far away. I need to follow shortcut here. Yeah.